So this week in the 21 day fasting uh, and prayer devotional, we are going to take a look at goal setting. And today's topic is actually going to be just explaining that goals are biblical. So let's take a look at that. The word goal means the end toward which effort is directed, an aim or purpose, an idea of the future or desired result that a person or a group of people envision, plan and commit to achieve. So you may be asking yourself right now, why bother to set goals? I mean, come on, look at 2020, right? Um, just like you, I know I had a lot of things that I wrote down for last year that I had to cross off and cancel. And then, hey, look at the news. The world's ending, right? <laughs> But hold on one second. All right. So I know it looks like that. But as I think about goal setting for 2021, I'm reminded of something that my mom used to tell me as a little girl. She said to me, Christy, um, live every day like Jesus was coming back tomorrow. But plan or set goals as if he wasn't coming back for a thousand years. See, the world and pop culture, you know, even some of the greatest minds today will say something like your life is just a grouping of inconsistencies, that your very existence is a series of random accidents that stumbled upon each other and very randomly, without any divine intervention, uh, produce the life that you now live. That fate runs its course right through the middle of your life and days and you can't control or change it. Um, and yet they're the same ones that are setting goals, making New Year's resolutions, and hey, even blowing out those birthday candles for wishes, right? <laughs> we know that chaos and confusion is not what God intended for our lives. Why? Because goal setting is godly. We can't help who we were created to be. Goal setting is a divine nature that is infused in mankind, comprised of vision, prophecy, and faith. See, we set goals and strive to achieve them through a series of steps and deadlines because that's who our God is. Look with me at 1 Corinthians 14, 33 in the Amplified. It says, for God, who is the source of their prophesying, that means where the word came from, who is speaking and giving instructions and saying, hey, look forward, set this goal, go in this direction. Who was that? That was God, okay? Is, the, is not a God. So that God is not a God, okay, of confusion and disorder. No, okay? But of peace and order. I love this about God, okay? And, is the pra and as is the practice in all the churches and of the saints, or God's people. So guess what 1 Corinthians is saying here? It's saying God wants order. God sets goals and makes plans, and he wants us to do the same thing. See, God didn't create you or your life to be a hot ball of mess and chaos. Yes, once upon a time, the world was just that. And maybe looking back, your 2020 felt like that. I'm sorry. Uh, but we know in Genesis 1 too that God's presence came upon that mess. And God set a goal for this world. He said, hey, this earth is not gonna be without form and void and in darkness, but I'm gonna move on it. I'm gonna speak my word over it. I'm gonna set a goal for this world to be the earth and inhabited with my children. And he did it. When you set a goal and you haven't seen it yet, it can make you feel a little bit scary and uncertain, right? Like. Can this even happen? Is this real? Should I be setting a goal on that? I mean, the fact is though, you've desired it. You may even need it. Whatever that goal is, keep reaching for it. Hebrews 11.1 1 tells us that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. See right there, it's evidence that at the heart of goal setting, we need to have faith faith in God and the goals he gives us. Whatever that goal is, even though you don't have it yet, maybe it's a goal you've been waiting on. You have vision of it and God will help you to construct a plan to achieve it. That always starts with faith in him. See, the Bible shows us the components that God uses to accomplish goals in and through our lives. So let's take a look at those things, right? I wanted to know them. Number one, God has given us his word and his spirit to guide us on a path to achieve his goals for our lives, okay? So just like we were talking about a minute ago, you know, prophesying is all about us receiving a word from God, 
okay? And so God's saying, I've given you my word. Where? In your Bible. So right now, during this time of fasting and prayer, get in God's word, find goals in his word for your life, okay? And as we are fasting, we are drawing closer to his presence. We wanna be in tune with his spirit. There's no better time to get some God downloads on some goals for 2021. There are specific destinations and achievements ordained as goals for each and every single one of us. And that's the key word there, specific, which means the goals that God has for my life, the goals I'm setting aren't gonna be the same as yours, but that's okay because you've got some great ones too. <laughs> in 2 Chronicles 7, 11, in the New Living Translation, there's one man's story, Solomon, okay? And Solomon was the richest and the smartest person who ever lived. He's so awesome, right? <laughs> and Solomon, he accomplished some goals. Let's take a look. It says here that Solomon finished the temple of the Lord as well as the royal palace. Okay, this guy was a builder. And the thing is this, that goal in his life, okay, was specific. It was something that David had already gone to God for. And God said, whoa, 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 slow your roll, David, not you but your son Solomon is gonna do this thing. And Solomon did it. Let's take a look at the rest of the verse to figure out how. It says here, he completed everything that he planned to do, everything that he set a goal on to do in the construction of the temple and the palace, okay? So sometimes we get God downloads and we're like, oh, I don't know what that means, God, what do you want me to do? And God's like, set some goals, come up with a plan and work that process, okay? Um, that's exactly how goals work. They begin as plans and they are executed through process. Without them, without a plan and a process, it's just gonna be a daydream. So there is also one last point I wanna hit. In order for that last component for us to reach our goals or to understand that goals are biblical in reaching them is that there is an appointed time that God has for us to achieve that goal also. Galatians 6, 9 in the New King James Version says, and let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season we shall reap if we don't lose heart or you don't give up. Okay, I love this passage of scripture. It has been an encouragement to me in so many ways. Um, there's been plenty of things in my life that I kind of set my eyes on and I said, I wanna do this and, and I'm working at it and then I get paused or stopped and I can't do it right now. One of the first things I ever tried to do um, in my life was actually missionary work. Um, since I was a little girl, you know, you can ask any of my siblings, I would say, I'm going to go to Africa and I'm going to help the kids. And, and I felt so hurt for children who are being born deformed. And I wanted to get into some medical outreach for those children. Uh, I said this since I was a little girl. Well, I got older. I was working in hospitals. Um, I got on a team uh, with Flying Samaritans and I was going out of, you know, out of the country into Mexico, not into Africa yet, um, doing medical missionary work. And I was so excited to be doing God's work and to be out there. And um, a year into marriage, my husband was like, I don't want you going out there. You know, you're going out there alone and overnight and there's bad things happening in Mexico. So you've got to stop doing this. And I was so upset. Well, I had to now totally skip forward and say, God, I'm surrendering this to you. This was a goal I had for my life since I was a little girl. Well, looking forward now, um, I thought I'm not gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna trust you, God. Couple years down the road, God opens an amazing door for me to go to Uganda for 21 days and do ministry. I could not believe it. Why? Um, well, because I had trusted in God. I had faith and I put my goal in God's hands. I didn't fear the season of waiting. See, in between setting a goal and achieving a goal, that's where faith is most important, okay? That word really quick, kairos, um, is the word for season. And it actually means a fixed time, opportune time, or the right time, okay? God knows the right time for your goal, so don't be worried in the delays and waits. Two, God sets goals. What? Yes, I already kind of alluded to it with the whole creating the world thing, but Psalms 33, 11 in the New American Standard says, the plan of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart from generation to generation. Your existence is evidence that God sets goals and achieves them. He planned you before you had been conceived. Imagine that. You can't, you weren't even born yet. <laughs> Psalms 139, 16 says, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Whose book? God's book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Whoa, 
Take a moment and think about that. Before you were born, God already had an entire planner filled with goals on your life, okay? Since the fall in Genesis 3, God has also had a goal to defeat the devil and restore us back into relationship with him in paradise. So it wasn't just, oh, I want them born. I want them doing something, but I want them to live in perfection. I want them to live with me for eternity. I don't want anything to separate all of mankind from me. That was God's heart. John 3, 16 and 17, let us know that. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Goal and process right there in those two scriptures. And for my last point, God's goals are fulfilled through our lives. What? Yes, not only is God setting goals and accomplishing them all on his own, giving us goals to accomplish, but even the goals that God has, he's using us to get them accomplished here on the earth. In Psalms 57, two in the Amplified version, it says, I will cry to God most high, who accomplishes all things on my behalf, for he completes my purpose in his plan. See, part of my, my own purpose and existence is for God's plans, God's goals to be fulfilled through me. So set godly goals in your life. Be that one that God can use. I hope this devotional has given you confidence that setting goals is biblical. And I want to leave you with one final verse that I pray will encourage you to set and pursue God's goals for your life this year. Philippians 3.14 in the New King James Version says, I press. So you say that over yourself. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. God bless.